Hey everybody, all right, let's get started in SolidWorks. Now, I'm gonna be working in 2016. You can, of course, work in really any fairly recent version of SolidWorks and approximate the results I'll be getting. There are some new features in 2016 that we will be making heavy use of, especially as pertains to the Style Spline tool in the Sketcher. So, um, if you are not on 2016, uh, I would recommend you give it a think and possibly upgrade and uh, and uh, otherwise you should be able to follow along and like I said approximate the results using the spline tools in older versions of SolidWorks. Now before we get started we should set up a few things in the tutorial materials I will be including several useful things uh, starting with some settings now I've included a settings all file here that includes all of my SOLIDWORKS settings, including keyboard shortcuts and um, mouse uh, mouse gestures and system preferences and toolbars. But if you want to get those things individually, I've included individual files as well. To install one of these, we might go down to Start, All Programs, SOLIDWORKS 2016, or whichever version you're using, SOLIDWORKS Tools, and Copy Settings Wizard. Once you run that, you'd click Restore Settings, and from there you would just navigate, find that file, and install it. I'm just going to cancel. Now, as I mentioned, if you do the all file, that takes care of it. You don't need to do any of these others because they're all included in it. If, however, you like your SOLIDWORKS settings and all you want to import are my toolbars, for example, you can uh, grab that file by itself and all of your other settings will stay put. Next, I've included some uh, folders full of assets, uh, especially this materials folder that may be useful to you if you want things on your screen to look exactly the way that they look on my screen. And uh, so what you would do is copy and paste this folder somewhere on your hard drive or network that's always accessible to you. I would recommend a local drive rather than a network drive just in case uh, your network is down or you're out and about. And then uh, head into SOLIDWORKS. Click on that little beach ball over on the right hand side to bring uh, bring out the appearances, scenes, and decals drawer. And uh, then up here at the top we have an appearances node. We'll just click that. Click on this button for add file location. Browse to wherever you've put that folder. And then it's going to appear down here at the bottom where you could look inside, find the, the, uh, the, the uh, materials you want, and drag and drop those into your file. Last, but by no means least, are the part templates. I have configured a few things for you to make sure that our parts and assemblies work exactly the way that we want them to. I've included those files for you. Uh, one easy way to figure out how to install those is to go to File, New, and uh, just create a default one. Now, if you had set this up uh, to be whatever you want, let's say you've set up the, the document units, you've set up visibility settings the way you want them, you've gone to the appearances and changed the, uh, the scene settings and the background, you've got it all set up the way that you want it, you would then go to File, Save As, and uh, in the Save As file type, you can choose Part Templates, and that automatically navigates you to the templates directory for your current install of SOLIDWORKS. In my case, I'm just going to head up here to the top, copy that path name, cancel out of here, head back to Explorer, create a new Explorer window, and just paste that path name in to the nav bar at the top. When you hit enter, then you will be in the correct folder. You could take uh, these uh, template files that I have included, copy those, paste them into that folder, and they will be there for you the next time you want to create something in SOLIDWORKS. Now, just to make sure that your defaults are set up the way that you want them, we could go to Tools and Options, down to your default templates, and then uh, under Parts, you would click the dot, 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 and uh, make sure that you select the specific template that you want to use. And that'll help ensure that uh, we always have the template that we want when we create a new document in SOLIDWORKS. Once we've done that, we are pretty much all set. I'm going to just create a new file here really quickly so you can see something. Uh, as it turns out, I am using a 3D connection space mouse wireless for this tutorial. I'm using my left hand to be able to rotate and zoom and pan all with one single fluid motion. It makes it incredibly easy to get around. And uh, I actually love using these things. I've used them for many, many years and I highly recommend other users do the same. Now this isn't just a sales pitch for 3D connection. Actually, when I I was teaching SOLIDWORKS courses at the college level, I would uh, require my students to get one uh, because they are 
at, you know, compared to a textbook, they're relatively inexpensive, and they are a great habit to be in for repetitive stress injuries. Um, I personally suffered serious problems with my right hand from years of driving Katia and NX and SolidWorks and Rhino, um, and especially Alias. They just screw up your hands because all of your navigation is really awkward and clumsy and requires a lot of strange hand movements. By using a space mouse, you greatly decrease that stress and uh, and also let you use your left hand uh, for a lot of the navigation so your right hand is freed up for selecting things. It's a really nice system and I do recommend it. Now um, there are a couple of things that I would set up before we get started with that. One is to head to your settings and head to the buttons here. Now as I said I'm using space mouse wireless which is the most minimal of the space mouse um, options available to you. It only has two buttons, a left button and a right button. I actually like that about it, both for muscle memory reasons, it's just quicker to learn, but also because I travel a lot, so I need to bring the mouse with me, and I don't want a, a, you know, a whole separate external keyboard, basically, for my left hand. So what I do is I set my left button to the escape key and the right button to the S key. Those are the two most common uh, keys that I use in SOLIDWORKS. So if I hit that left button, I get my uh, shortcut menu where I can select you know, a tool. And then to get out of that, I can hit the right button and that will escape. So again, I, I highly recommend using the space mouse, but you don't have to. It's going to be helpful to me for uh, navigating in this series. Things will move more smoothly, it's easier to follow visually, but you can of course use whatever navigation method works best for you. And with that, I think we're ready to get started. Let's do this.